Hello, 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 Aries. This is Mystic Virgo 4444. Thank you for joining me for another reading. I'm not in my element right now. I'm at my mother's house, so I'm kind of like in this small room and kind of bunched up trying to get the readings out to you all. Um, so we're just going to do a regular uh, reading. I hope it resonates. Take what you need and please, please, please leave the rest. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and get started here. Don't forget, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. We have the strength card here for you all. Uh, the Queen of Swords and the Sun card, followed by the Page of Wands here, okay? What messages do I see for you, Aries? You, there's something that you have to be uh, strong about, uh, something you need to cut out of your life. And if you cut that situation out, if you cut that person out, or whatever it is, uh, it'll be better for you with the Sun card. It'll make you happier. It'll make things a little... Um, less burdensome for you but you have to let go of what no longer serves you because whatever is going on with you is, is making you um, freeze up and, and not give all not give your all to a certain situation but you gotta let it go two cups maybe you have a romance or somebody who you really really care about it's time to let them go yeah because we have here the three of swords they're hurting you they're hurting your the situation it's just time to walk it's just time to let this person go because they're not good for you okay they're 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 uh, toxic to your system even though we don't have that devil card but they're very very they're not good for your time to let them go take that leap of faith uh, look roll with the punches let it go move forward okay okay then we have here the ace of swords there's something better for you on the other side of this relationship you just got to think positively let it go i have three of cups this person cheating uh, not doing good here. You need to cut this person out because they're uh, a player, player, player. I keep hearing in my head, player, player, player. Aries, three, three of wands, and you're looking at what this person has done to you, how you've lasted in this relationship or this situation so long because you just you need to let it go, roll with it. Okay, for it's it's, it's worrying. You're thinking about it. What am I going to do? What am I going to happen? I don't like being single. Uh, what am I going to do? The universe is saying drop them. Uh, drop that burden. Okay? Ten of Pentacles. Because you can do better. Um, Ace of Wands. The universe is saying I'm going to give you beauty <clears throat> beauty for your ashes here. But you got to let go of this weight. That's, this dead weight that's holding you down. The High Priestess. Uh, you already know. Your intuition is right. Yeah, that person is no good. Yeah, that person is a cheater. Yeah, that person is a player. And the universe is saying look. It's time for you to get away. But for whatever reason, you're holding firm. You're not ready to give up this person because you love them. You care about them. The universe is telling you to take that leap of faith, but you're stuck. Okay? You're really stuck and you need to let it go. Leave this person out in the cold like they've done you so many times before. It's time for you to roll. Let it go. The Knight of Wands is telling you to get away from this person. Um, this person has left you out in the cold. And they're probably leaving you out in the cold right now. Okay, but you keep going for it. You need to you need to go away. Say alone. Like that that song about the Commodores. Say alone. Okay, and once you sell on and move on, you're gonna find your happiness. You're gonna find your place in this world. You're going to be recognized. This card keeps falling here, but the universe is saying fall for somebody else. That person who you're going to run into, um, you're gonna run smack dab into this person and they're going to, to give you your heart's desire. And I'm seeing that video. Um the greatest love of all with Whitney Houston when she was on that stage in her younger self, met with her younger self in the middle of the stage and they just combined it as one. That's what you need to do, Aries. You need to find your inner self so you can grow, so you can find your peace of mind, so you can find your happiness. Time left. It's time to just uh, do you. Get to know you all over again. Get to find the, the, find the love inside of yourself, okay? The greatest love of all is already within you. You need to find it, okay? All right, so we're going to move on forward to the Leos. So we did Aries first. I'm going to timestamp this reading so you can pull your sign. I'm in limited space. You all have to excuse me. I have to roll with what I got right now, okay? All right, Leos. I have for the Four of Wands. Looks like a happy home, a happy family here for you, Leo. Eight of, uh, somebody wants to come out of the happy family unit. Uh, but they're afraid to. Uh, maybe you're connected to someone you really do care about. A situation isn't serving you. Um, 
and you feel the need to just walk away, uh, but you, you're staying because you're because of devotion, and you don't want to leave the family hanging. You're not that kind of person that's going to go to the store to get a pack of cigarettes and no, never come back. You always come home, okay? Okay, messages for Leo here. The Page of Swords. You're worried. Uh, I definitely think that you feel that if you leave this situation, it's going you're going to be full of regret, okay? I have here that the the um the King of Pentacles. It, it's like I I don't want to leave this person hanging financially. I want this person to be in my life. I, even if this person is not in your life or not in my life, I still want to be able to support this person financially. But, and that's what's holding you back. You feel guilty because you don't want to leave this person hanging. Okay. The Ace of Cups, the World Card. We got some changes here. Something is ending for a brand new beginning here for Leo. The Knight of Wands. Messages for Leo. I have the Queen of Wands with the Knight of Wands. And I have the Empress. Okay. Someone wants to leave a connection. Okay. They want to change. So someone in this connection here, Leo, wants to leave you or you want to leave them to go to somebody else. The Empress. Okay, because we have here the Knight of Wands and we have the Queen of Wands here. Okay, and we have the Four of Wands, a happy home, a happy family. But someone in this family unit wants to leave to be with somebody else. Um, somebody else who they're, they're falling for. Okay, um, this person is more wiser, uh, probably more good looking, probably have the qualities that your partner does not have. And they're wanting to leave you to be with somebody else but they're feeling guilty because they don't want to leave you in the lurch they don't want to leave you financially disabled okay but yeah they're wanting to go with somebody who they're they're really into it with they're um i got these cards around hold on let's see maybe uh, hold on. So I got two stories. What I just said, but I also it looks like we got a situation here where the person you're with doesn't want to be with anybody because their world is like the cycle for this person is changing, and they want to do diff different things. They don't want to. Some of you, they don't want to be in a relationship at all. They want to be by themselves. Go off. Uh, on a journey, a soul's journey by themselves, Leo. They don't want to be with you or anybody else. They probably left you for somebody else in the beginning or got with you uh, when they broke up with somebody, but they're, they don't want to be with anybody. You got some people who are leaving you to be with somebody else or somebody who doesn't want to be with anybody, period. Okay? I have the temperance card. This person, is is their life is unbalanced. They're probably a little bit mentally unstable, but not in a bad way. They just have to leave to clear their head because they're not happy. They want they they want their wishes to come true, their wish fulfillment, and they don't have it in their life right now. They want wish fulfillment, but they got to go out and find it. They have to to seek and find themselves all over again. They have to seek and find. Okay, it's not there for them, and they're leaving, taking a trip, taking a road trip, going somewhere to find themselves. Okay, I was watching a movie. Or Netflix with, um, <clears throat> I can't think of her name right now. Um, shoot. I hate not being able to think of something when I want to give you all a message. Um, I'll think of it in a minute. More messages here for Leo. Since this, you're, you're, this Leo here, you're very, very burdened by your life. Uh, not accomplishing what you want to accomplish. Being devoted. Uh, to whoever it is you're in a relationship with or the click you're in. You're just very, very devoted, okay? And it's time for you to, to start working on you. Uh, uh, Alfred Woodard, okay? When we have the Knight of Swords, all of, all movements, okay? Uh, your universe is changing faster than you would like. You're getting older. You're not getting anything accomplished. And you don't want to get into your deep into your life and say, well, man, boom, I didn't do this. I didn't do that. So the movie I'm thinking about... Um, is it Alfred Woodard? She played in a movie on um, Netflix called Juanita. And Juanita went out, left her grown children behind, took it upon herself to start a journey, a soul's journey. And she went uh, traveling 
got to this town, settled down, started a job, uh, changed the, the way that the restaurant, the restaurant, the restaurant was, was running in the movie. She found love. She found, her, actually, she went within and found herself and, and she just felt whole again. Okay. So this is what you're doing, needing to take a, a, a soul's journey, Leo, to find you again. Okay. That's all you're doing. And there's nothing wrong with telling somebody, even if you cut the connection and say, I'll be back. I got to focus on me. It's some inner work I have to do. That's something that that person who loves you has to understand. Okay. Okay. Let's go on to the Sagittarius here. Okay. So Leo is pulling, pulling away from all relationships and going within and taking a soul's journey. Okay. What is it that's going on with the Leo? I'm sorry, Sagittarius. Give me clear and concise reading for it, Sagittarius. What readings is coming out for fire signs, Sagittarius? Messages for my Sagittarius here. Communication, you're wanting to talk to someone, but you're in your head about it with this, this two of pentacles. Should I talk to this person? Should this person talk to me? What's going on here? I have two cards that fell out. Three of cups and the queen of swords here. You really don't know uh, if you should communicate with this person. Um, <sighs> clarify this three of cups here. The devil card. So if something ended with this person. It was maybe a toxic situation. And I have the sun card here. So you are wanting to talk to somebody. Um, but you're not sure what you want to say to them. You probably think they're out maybe dating other people now. They don't want to have anything to do with you or whatever. We have the Queen of Swords, and you're wanting this person, you want to talk to her or talk to him. Clarify the Queen of Swords for the Sagittarius. Queen of Swords for the Sagittarius here. Seven of Swords. This person did you wrong, okay? Like, man, you know, I invited you into my life. Uh, I made you my husband. I made you my wife. I made you my woman. I made you my man. I made you my partner. But you messed me up. You did me wrong. So we have the Knight of, of Pentacles. Someone wants to come in and I give you an offering. I want my happy home back. But we, some somebody cheated. Somebody had a third party situation going on here. I don't see the Magician card here, but this person was a player, Sagittarius, and they took away your happiness. This is what you miss about this person. Look, I was looking at a reading one time, and the reader said, "You don't miss the person. You miss the memories." So Sagittarius, you are missing the memories because this person fucked you over. Excuse my expression. They did you wrong. P tower. I mean, you don't need this person. You may want to communicate with this person. You may want to, to step off of your high horse and, and call. I'm going to call this person. Don't do not do it, okay? Because here we have hermit mode. You want to come out of hermit mode and, and make a decision to call. But the universe is saying, no, stop. Stay in hermit mode for a little while. Let this person suffer, okay? This person made you suffer here, but you want to get up and, and go call this person, knock on this person, door send this person a valentine or whatever. Universe is saying don't do it, okay? This person left you over. They messed up with you, okay? No. This person, Sagittarius, they, tur they turned your happiness, your light into darkness, and it, it didn't make you feel good. No, the universe is, is reminding you, no. Remember how hurt this person made you. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're looking back and you're dreaming and you're thinking. Your memories, okay? It's not the person that you miss. It's the memories that you miss, Sagittarius. Make new memories. Even if you have to make new memories with yourself, uh, get your stuff out there and start again. It's just that simple. Okay? So we're going to start now with the Virgos. Give me some messages for the Virgos here. Oh, five of cups. Some regret here, Virgo. Crying over spilled milk. What's done is done. Let it go. Virgo, Virgo, the page of cups. You're thinking about what you did in this relationship or this, uh, whatever it is that's going on, how you gave so much, but this person gave so little, okay? You're looking at, I did all of this with this three of cups. I love this person. I care for this person. Everything. But this person only gave me drips and drops. Like, like you're brewing, brewing coffee in the morning and you get the drips, drips, drips. Okay? That person just gave here a little here, a little there, drip, drip, drip. But you gave the whole damn coffee pot and that wasn't enough. Okay? Messages for Virgo. The death card. And it ended. 
But so what, Virgo? It ended. Move on. Okay? The universe is saying you have two of cups behind you. That you're not even paying attention to. You have a life outside of your pain, Virgo. Okay? The Hereford. Leave this situation behind because you're, you're headed for a higher form of a commitment here. You're headed for a commitment. Love. A balanced love relationship. A beautiful, blessed relationship for you, Virgo. Tower Court. This hurt you. This came out in the Sagittarius reading before this, so you might want to check that out. Okay? But this caused a tower moment in your life, a dark, dark night in the in, in your uh, of the soul. Probably some depression too, Virgo. Okay? But you have to leave it behind. You have to leave this shit behind. Move on with your life. And take your cup and prepare to meet your destiny. Okay? Because here at the bottom of the deck, you have three of cups. Go out here and date. Have a good time. Sit yourself down at that bar. Get you a drink and just relax. Let's listen to your jazz music or whatever it is you like to do here. And the universe is saying get some strength. Grow some balls. Get some big titties. Whatever. Virgo, you can do it. I keep hearing it. Get some big titties. <laughs> you know, like like men, grow balls. Women, grow titties. You know, just take your high resonates, okay? You know what I'm talking about, okay? To clarify the five of cups. What is up with this two of cups for Virgo? What's up with this two of cups for the Virgo? Temperance. The universe is saying, get outside of your ego. Put yourself out there. You balance the good with the bad and keep on stepping, okay? This is it. It's time for you to move on forward, Virgo. Seven of Pentacles, you're watching things grow. You you're watching what you put into relationships, and that kinds of that kind of makes you a little nervous because you do so much. Virgo, you are a sign of service. So you give and give and give, and people take and take and take. <clears throat> I said that a look. You give and give and give, and people take and take and take and hurt you. You get your feelings hurt a lot. Okay. Every time I see five of swords, I think that's for me as a reader, this is saying that this is your, my feelings are hurt card. Okay. People have hurt your feelings. People you love and care about family. It mostly has hurt your feelings. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, I also have here the world card, the chart, the cycles are changing. Universe is telling you, look, you grow your balls, you grow your big titties and I'm going to, and I'm going to give you what you desire. Your heart's desire here. You got to get strong first though. Hereford and the world card. Anything you want. Cycles are changing. I'm going to give you a beautiful relationship. I'm going to grant you, Virgo, a beautiful relationship. <clears throat> Clarify the tower card for Mr. and Mrs. Virgo. Tower card here. Got to come out of your feelings. Put yourself out there. Um, be strong. You know, um, force your way into the universe. You know, you, you can't have to, you can't keep holding back in hermit mode. You gotta put yourself out there, ground yourself, okay? The Queen of Wands. Step up off your throne. It's like you get there and then you and then you back up and then you get back on your throne and just sit there instead of making that move. Okay? Make that move forward. Here. Ace of Cups. The universe is ready for for Virgo to give this huge, huge cup. Fill this cup with the Virgo's love that only you can do. And let it flow. Fill, fill, take this cup that you have and go celebrate. Fill this cup with, with your love, but, but let your love flow to others. Okay? Let other people see what's in your cup. Let other people taste a Virgo's love. Okay? Be strong, Virgo. The magician. Mm. Here we are. The magician. Go out and flow. Go with the flow. Money sex, whatever. You can do anything you want to do. Businesses, everything. So whatever's in this cup, the universe is telling you, Virgo, to let this cup of love flow so everybody can feel it. And when it's the right person tastes the, the love that's inside your cup, they're going to come and change your world and say, can we be a couple? Can you, will you marry me forever? Sitting on that cup on the front porch with a weeping willow tree in your front yard, sipping on lemonade, Loving each other until the day you until the day you can no longer love. Okay, hope that resonates. We're going to move on to the Taurus. Okay, universe, please give me a clear and concise reading for Taurus. What messages do I have for my fellow Tauruses here? Taurus nation, right now. Taurus, I have a Knight of Pentacles. So you want to give something to somebody that hurt you? Okay, nope. 
Don't do it. Not a source. Okay. I have the star card. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Star card. So there's some kind of an offering that you want to do here, okay, Taurus? But a person did something to you because it's like this person left you, did something shicey with somebody else, okay? But you're the Star card, but, but, but you're the star. You meant a lot to this person. You want to give to somebody who hurt your feelings. They left you for somebody else. Or did something wrong. Them and somebody else did something wrong to you. Towards what you want to give to somebody else. Why? Why? Why would you want to continue dealing with somebody who didn't do you right? Okay? Two of Cups. They left. They fucked you over. And they came out of this. And you know, I mean. Taurus. You want to give to You want to. Give your love, give your heart, want to be back with somebody, want to call somebody who hurt you in the past. I want to call this person. I just want to call this person to see what they're doing. Remember your worth. Remember you're the star. You're looking back at what you did to this, did with this person, what this person did, how they hurt you, all of that stuff. Okay? The universe is saying you're the star. Remember that. This person walked out on you. Now you want to go and give this person your cup of love. This person left you, Taurus, left you hanging and banging with somebody else. You don't need them. You got the knight of the knight of wands and the king the knight of swords. So this person left you to be with somebody else. Then they left the person they left you for to be with somebody else whose sex was better. This person is all over the place. You're the star. You can do better. Okay. You can do better, Taurus. See the lovers card, Taurus. You got somebody else coming. Love. Give your. You know what. You got some you got love somewhere else coming for you. Let that past person go because if you don't, you're gonna miss your blessing. You may love this person, but you want to give your love to your ex, somebody who left you for somebody else to leave them for somebody else. No, you got a, a new love coming your way, Taurus. You gotta let that person go. Let that person be the, the shysty cheater magician that they've always been. They, they're not gonna ever be they're not gonna ever be happy. They're not gonna ever want to be in a happy relationship, a single relate a, a committed relationship because they are a player. Okay. They are a player and the truth ain't in them. Okay, Taurus. The six of wands here. The universe is saying we're supporting you. You have friends and family that's supporting you. But support yourself. You know, charity starts at home. And spreads abroad, okay? Eight of Wands. Get on a, uh, um, being left to tell you to, to, to get on a dating website, okay? I don't know why I'm saying that, but communication here, because when I saw this, I thought I heard telephone. Uh, so get on a dating website here, and you're going to run into somebody who has, just like you, um, who has this the strength and the characters that you're looking for. Get on a Christian website, or shit. Something about a farmer's website, you know, um, a website where you can find like-minded people. You know, you may even find a website that, that a dating website with tarot readings. Try to look something like that up and date a, a person who does tarot, okay? Nine of Pentacles. You, 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 the universe is saying that you're thriving and you're growing, but you're worried about the past relationship, what they're doing, who they're sleeping with. Don't worry about that. That's over with, Okay. The, the queen of pentacles, you're worried if, if you'll be able to give your cup of love to someone else. Yes, just not the ex. See, the magician. This person was shysty. The universe is saying, it's your turn to be the magician. It's your turn to turn tricks, but turn tricks in a good way. Okay? Shake your tail feather. Go out there and dance. Uh, shake your booty. Maybe you like disco music from back in the day. Put your nice heels on, your clothes on. You all just go out there and have a good time. Okay? Taurus, you, yeah, you have a cycle. Your cycle is changing. Uh, the world is saying it's time for you to just switch things up and go out there and be happy with yourself. And also, women, your, excuse me, women, your monthly cycles, and sometimes when I see this, I do say this, your monthly cycle may be changing. You probably came on your period twice this month, or you will, okay? Like, damn, I just went off, and I'm, I'm on again. That's because your, your cycle is changing. Remember that you're not pregnant. Your cycle is just changing, Okay? All right, what other signs can I get now? So, let's see, Virgo, Leo. Did I do Leo already? I did Sagittarius. I left my, uh, my cards at home. Hold on a second. 
Okay, so I am at Libra right now. I left my Zodiac cards at home that I usually put on here when I'm doing this. So, But anyway, we're at Libra. So I started here now with the Three of Swords for you, Libra. Okay, broken hearted. Uh, disappointed about something that didn't turn out your way. Okay, messages for the Libra. What messages do I have for Libra? Queen of Swords here. You welcome something or someone into your life. But they hurt you, they disappointed you, they flew the coop. Knight of Pentacles, okay? They flew the coop. And, 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 yeah. A money situation or something hurt you, and it didn't work out your way, so we have here the Ten of Swords, okay? Not only are you hurt and disappointed, but the person who was supposed to be there for you, they are hurt and disappointed. But they're very, very regretful that it, that it turned out the way it did, Okay? Maybe a failed trip or something didn't turn out your way. Okay. We have here the knight, the ace of wands, the two of swords, the moon card, and ace of pentacles. So it looks like maybe you got with somebody um, so for sex reasons. They pay for sex. Sorry if it's, you know, probably very, very few here. Okay. It's not for everybody, um, Capricorn, but it looks like you pull somebody in your life. A sugar daddy, maybe? Or if not, it's, it's like you got with this person for uh, financial reasons, or maybe they got with you for financial reasons. The sex was good, and, and they, they broke things off. And, well, they say, for instance, you got with somebody. It was a one-night stand, and you thought it was going to be better, okay? It was going to be more than that, but it turned out to be no. This person didn't want you. They they were only using you for money or using you for sex, and they left. But the universe is saying you got something better anyway. If you got what I'm saying with the gist of that, you got with somebody who was only in it for the money or only in it for the sex, and then they flew the coop because of what you... They only got they only got with you for what they can get out of you, and this is why we started with the three of swords. They left you, let them go, because all that they were interested in was dicking you down. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's a burden for you. Okay, Capricorn and the Universe is saying no. Mm -mm. You gotta leave, because if you don't leave, look, the Universe is saying cut it out. Time for, time to bounce, let it go, because you're gonna have this tower moment, but you gotta have this leap of faith. Because if you if you don't leave, the universe will force you to leave. At any rate, you need to do something. Okay, you need to bounce, let it go. It's not good for you. No, no, no. It's like that poison label you see on on it's contaminated items or whatever. It's poison. Let it go, big time. The universe is saying, look, got your beauty for your ashes here, Capricorn. Don't do it. They use you for, for sex or money, and it's not good. Okay, I'm gonna move on to Aquarius. Give me some messages for the Aquarius here. What messages for my Aquarius? Seven of Pentacles. Worry, worry, worry. You're, you're worried that you're not doing enough. Okay, Aquarius Chariot. I'm worried that I'm not doing enough, so I'm just going to leave. I'm going to give up. I'm just going to quit. I'm going to walk away because I don't think that what I'm doing is good enough. I don't think that I'm good enough. Come on, Aquarius. Are you serious? <sighs> the Hierophant. You're blessed. You don't know how blessed you are. All you do is worry, worry, worry. You may have a little um, uh, Virgo in your chart. Worry. Worry a lot. You know, and your mind is all over the place. You probably can't even go to sleep because your mind is just going all the time. You're not, your mind, Aquarius, never shuts off. Because you're always worried about something. Always worried about something. You probably worried about a Virgo, okay? Look, you worry yourself sick. You literally worry yourself sick. Money, jobs, <clears throat> grades, kids, family, men, women. Sex, everything. You just worry too doggone much. You need to stop. Walk away from your worry because you're, 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 um, the universe is saying that you just need to talk about it. Talk it out. Okay? Um, get over whatever it is that's keeping you down. Uh, maybe you, you want to be in a relationship and you, you're not, you're not in the right state of mind right now to be in a relationship. You're focusing on inner hurt, inner turmoil, 
things that you haven't had a chance to do in your life, but the universe is saying you need to stop. Head toward your greatness with this Hierophant card. You worry too much. You have two of cups that you don't even, you have a life that you have yet to live, that you have yet to see because you're worrying too, too much about shit you can't change. Let the past go. Let the hurts and pains go. Work on your inner self. Work on your self-confidence, okay? Work on you. You have the king of pentacles here, okay? Focusing, always focusing on money, things you can't change. If you want another job, find a job, find a better paying job. Do something on the side to make more money, okay? Four of cups, go out and have, three of cups, rather. Go out there and have fun with, the, with your friends. Have a nice time. Live it up for a change. Stop worrying so much. Worried about money here. You and the person you're with, or we need to go out together and just have fun and stop worrying so much about money. Even if it's for four or five hours, put yourself out there and go have fun because right now you're you're very low energy. You're not giving as of, of you're not giving yourself as enough because you're worrying so much. The universe said, work it out, talk it out, talk it out with your lover, talk it out with your friend, so they can make you feel better. If you talk about it. Aquarius, you'll feel better. But you got to talk about it. Talk it out. Feel better. Okay? Stop being so hard on yourself. You take it with you everywhere you go. Stop being so hard on yourself. Okay? I hope that resonated with you, Aquarius. We're going to move right on over to Pisces. All right, Pisces, what messages do I have? Universe, please give me a clear and concise reading for, sorry about that, for the Pisces. What messages do I have for the Pisces? Okay, Pisces. Ten of Swords. Somebody's hurting right now. What happened, Pisces? Some love. Something happened in home that made you upset. You maybe got into an argument with your lover or a family or friend. Somebody you care about you got into it with. What is it? Over money? Okay, which is which are normal. That's what couples normally fight about money. Uh, as more, the more the more I bring in, the more you spend. That kind of way. Okay. Yeah, you love somebody, but you're arguing over money. Okay, and you got to give. Somebody's not giving enough. King of Swords, and we got the Five of, of Cups. I'm I'm thinking about with this. Um, I, I give so much, I do this, I do that, you know, um, but somebody in the relationship is not pulling their weight. It's, it's like, I don't, even, I don't even know if I want this relationship anymore, okay? I don't know if I can do this anymore. Somebody wants out because it's, they're, they're not bringing in enough. Like, I'm, I'm making this nine of pentacles. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to grow our bank account. I'm trying to make things right. But when I look over at the books, you, you're spending more than I'm making. It's like you, you're living beyond your means. And I'm not going to take this shit no more. So we got the two of cups here. They say, look, I'm done. I don't want this no more. I'm thinking about all of this stuff. I need to move because I have two of cups here on the other side. That I need to live my life too. I'm, I'm suffering. This person you're with is, or you are suffering in silence. Okay? What's going on, Pisces? A Knight of Wands. We got somebody who's ready to bounce. They're ready to go. Um, they're probably a little bit in, immature in the relationship, a little bit, but they make coin, they make bank, and they're saying that they're tired, Pisces. They're ready to go. So it's like someone come and save me. Okay, they're looking for a savior, and they're ready to say, "Look, I, I've been thinking about this." I just think it's time for me to go. I'll help you out financially, but eventually I'm going to bounce. My blessings are somewhere else, okay? With the high priestess. They're going to somebody who's going to help them balance this shit out. Because right now they don't feel like they're balanced, or maybe you don't feel like you're balanced. So you're taking your cup of love, Pisces, somewhere else. Somewhere else is, is where the love is, where the true love is, where the devotion is, where the help is, where the balanced situation is at here. Celebrating, they're out celebrating with their friends, drinking up all the money, uh, buying big ticket items, clothes and stuff like this, and they're ruining it. So somebody came to a conclusion. Do what you want to do, but I'm done. I am done. 
So they make a decision and say, I'm done with this. I'm going to work very hard at keeping my income where I need it to be. This person does not like to be broke. This person does not like to be late on the bills. This person likes money in their bank account. And they're going to find it. They're going to keep what's theirs, what they made, with somebody else. Okay? They're leaving. Okay? It's not that they don't love you, but or you don't love them. Somebody is, is detrimental when it comes to money. And, and you're eating up the bank account. Okay? I'm going to move on to Scorpio. Okay? What messages do I have for the Scorpio? Scorpio. Oh, somebody's leaving you out in the cold. Or you're leaving somebody out in the cold, Scorpio. Okay? Horse are shooting out for my Scorpio. Six of Wands. So you've been left out in the cold. You're talking to friends, you're talking to your family, you're probably saying, keep moving, don't stop. When one monkey don't stop, no show. Four of Wands, move on to your happy place, okay? Even if your happy place is on the inside, you gotta let go. I wanna clarify this Five of Pentacles. Somebody left you out in the cold, but why? Why were you left out in the cold? Why was Scorpio left out in the cold? tower card okay it was it was it was going to happen eventually look if you didn't leave a situation scorpio the universe did it for you that's why you had a tower moment that's why it's so hurtful because the universe pushed your ass out which is something you should have did in the beginning you, you didn't do it for yourself you didn't do it for your benefit so the universe didn't like to see you suffer so the universe did it for you you're suffering now but you'll get over it you're going to find your happiness with this four of wands justice just said that. See, the universe told you, I'm doing this. If you don't make that decision, I'm going to do it for you. And that's exactly what's happened. And that's why you're feeling like you're in a gutter right now. But that's going to change. It's not going to always be that way. The universe did you a favor. Okay? Ten of Pentacles. The universe did you a favor. Changing. Uh, changing and rearranging your life. Scorpio, the universe is saying this cycle is going to change. Since you didn't do it, boom, I am did it for you. Out. Out with the old, in with the new. It's time for you to start working on you. You can look back all you want to, but the universe is saying, come on out of this stagnation. Since you didn't come out of this stagnation with this tower, I did it for you. A good future coming for you, Scorpio. You got to fight. And just like just like that part in the color purple when she, when her sister Celie told her sister no when Nettie told her sister that she had to fight and Celie said I don't but I don't know how to fight okay the universe is telling you since you don't know how to fight I'm going to fight your battles for you and you're not going to like the way, the outcome because you're doing something I'm doing something you should have should have did a long time ago the universe is telling you learn how to fight I don't want to have to keep fighting your battles for you you have to learn some lessons okay got to learn some lessons we got the queen of wands once you fight your battles learn how to fight your battles and and stop procrastinating and stop ending up in these tower moments with these same old over and over again not learning from your mistakes the universe is saying look fight your battles stand up for yourself and this is what you get wish fulfillment but you got to fight your own battles because if you don't you're going to keep getting hurt over and over and over again and because you're not learning from your mistake, it's the same cycles for you over and over again, Scorpio. Learn how to fight. Okay? Moving on to the Gemini. Okay. What messages do I have for the Gemini? I have uh, two of pentacles. Not made, making a clear decision about something here, Gemini. No clear decisions about a lover. Okay? What's going on with the lovers for the, the Gemini? Always topsy tidy the sign card. So you are not sure what you're going to do by somebody who makes you very happy. Clarify the two of pentacles. We got a, a clarifier is the, the three of wands. Um, really, really focusing on different on how you've been with this person. This person is in your life, probably been in your life for a long, long time, but you're not sure if you want to be with this person. 
this person makes you made you very happy. Uh, you're comfortable with this person, okay? But look, too many issues, too many problems. So you need to. You don't. You're not sure if you want to stay or leave, even though you know this person makes you very happy. But there's something that's very, very wrong here, Gemini, with this relationship. And you love this person with all of your heart. Maybe you're married to this person or engaged or in a long-term committed relationship. But something's changing here for you all. Okay? What's going on for the Gemini lovers? <sighs> Y'all got some problems. The Emperor. Jesus. What's going on? The Gemini. The, um... Emperor, someone in a star card here. Here. It's a beautiful relationship, but got some problems. We got somebody who's controlling. Who is controlling. Goodness gracious. They make money. They 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 make a good income. They stay out and that it's like they get paid. They pay all the bills and they go out with their buddies and, and drunk and get drunk and come home and trip with you. Okay? And they leave you standing there. Here I got the here. The world. It's time to change. Okay, it's time to have a. It's time to have a talk. Communicate. And we're not talking about just sex with this person either. Here, just talk. Talk to this person and tell this person how you feel. Okay. Um, this person brings home the bacon and he fries it up in a pan. But this person plays a lot of a lot of not. They give you what you need to, to live and survive here. And this is probably somebody who you, you grew up with and loved and fell in love with this person. But right now, you're not sure if you want to be in this relationship with this person. Because this person is, is, is they're, um, they're the breadwinner. And you probably never had a job before. You probably never had to work. But this person is getting very tired. The older and older they get, the worse they get. Okay? And here, you're in hermit mode. Even though you're in a relationship with this person, a long time committed relationship, at some point, this person made you happy, the happiest you've ever been in your life, okay? But for some reason, this is where you are now, Gemini. This is where you are. You had a tower moment. Not sure if you want to leave. You're not sure if you want to leave the love of your life because they, the older they're getting, the worse they're getting. And you don't want to be in this kind of relationship anymore, okay? What is the outcome for Gemini with this relationship? What is the outcome for Gemini? Damn. I have here, everything is fine for you. And I have here, the three of wands. It's like if you sit down and talk to this person and tell this person what's going on and how they're how you're feeling like they're leaving you out in the cold, it'll get better. Everything will be just fine. But you got to talk. Got to talk about it. Because this person is the breadwinner. And you don't want to leave that. Okay? You love them. You married, you're devoted to this person, you're this per person's partner, your life partner. And it's going to be the end of this relationship, but talk to this person, and it won't be. You just got to open your mouth and talk, okay, Gemini? Just talk to him, okay? Moving on to the Cancer. Give me a clear and concise read for the Cancer here. What messages do I have for the like, Cancer? Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Money, big, okay, we have Seven of Pentacles. Uh, some sneaky stuff is going on around money. Uh, hide your purses. Hide your wallet. You got, some, you got a thief. Yeah. Somebody's stealing from you and giving it to somebody else. You got somebody here, a female, who is stealing from you and giving it to somebody else. What you've planted, what you've, what you've grown, uh, money you probably put away that you probably forgot about. Check your bank accounts. Check your wallets. It's all about the pentacles. You got a Virgo. Here's that shoe. You're probably dealing with a Virgo. You got some Virgo creepers watching right now. Okay. You got somebody who's stealing from you to give to somebody else. Okay. Okay. I got. I know Keisha got some money here, but I know that oh, that Lawanda need a new bike. So I'm gonna take a little money off Keisha's account every now and again, and she ain't gonna know the difference because she got a lot of money. She a Virgo. Okay. And you're stealing it and giving it to Luana. And you're stealing it, literally. I'm ch I'm chilling with this chick here who I really, really care about, Keisha. But I'm looking over at Luana because Luana is a princess, as, as the princess, the empress. I'm going to take what Keisha has saved in the bank or the money she gave me that I claim I need lunch for. And I'm going to take it and give it to somebody else. Because I adore 
Keisha. No, I adore Keisha. I love Keisha, but but Lawanda is amazing. I'm gonna take Keisha's money and give it to Lawanda and give it to Lawanda. And Lawanda saying, "Look, I need some money. I need this. I need that." And that's exactly what he's going to do. Take your money and give it away to somebody else. Because you got plenty of it. You're probably messing with a Virgo. Mm. Uh, Lawanda is very, very um, cunning. Okay? She's the empress. And you got this person works very, very hard. You got this Virgo person here. Cancer works very, very hard. Or you work very, very hard. Okay? And the universe is saying, you need to figure out what's going on with the money situation. Because the more you make, here, this person cares about you, and, and, and they do. But the more you make, and they take and give it to somebody else. And you're saying, look, this person got, got, got another lover, okay? Got the sun card, and you got the emperor here, okay? What's this? Look, you hold on to your money. You save your money. You're a good savior. You're a good provider. But the universe is telling you this person who you're kicking it with or hanging with, or this could be somebody brand new who you haven't met yet. Just pay attention to your accounts and your money and everything because what you're making, they're giving it to somebody. They're taking your cup that you work hard for and giving this shit to somebody else. And you have a lover. Look, 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 look. Gemini. No cancer. So we have your cup. That your money, everything you put in this cup to survive, love off, or whatever, they're taking your cup and giving it to somebody else. Okay? But you, the universe is telling you to, you have more options coming in. Okay? Because you work very, very hard, and because you have bank, you know, working very hard, and you have bank, the universe is telling you, look, 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 look. I'm going to put a stop to this shit. Okay, I'm telling you right now, the universe is saying that you have somebody better. Hold on to your money. Make sure you pay attention to what's in your bank account. Make sure you know what's going out and what's going in. You balance those credits with the debits and do what you need to do because you got an emperor coming in. Okay, and this emperor holds your cup of love. Okay, get with the program, Cancer. Pay attention to a Virgo who's around you, stealing from you. I'm a Virgo. I don't steal, but... Some people do. And I'm not talking about me. You got a Virgo who's stealing from you and giving it to somebody else. Okay? Finally, give me Libra. Universe messages for the Libra here. What messages do I have for Libra? Communication. Fast communication for you coming in. Oh, a death. Some kind of... Uh, what needs to come in? Oh, stop talking so much, Libra. Take this leap of faith. We got somebody who has diarrhea of the mouth. Have you ever heard of that? Talking too much, telling too much information, telling people's business, telling people's secrets. Talking too much. You remember saying, Libra, shh, be quiet. Or somebody's telling stuff about you that they shouldn't. We have here the Ten of, Wands, the Ten of Cups. Judgment card. Stop telling people your business. Tell people to stay out of your business. Okay? The King of Pentacles and the, and the Will of Fortune. The universe is saying, you're taking a leap of faith. If it's something good that's happening for you, which it is, you got, you're happy, you're very, very, you have a happy family, you have a happy life. Don't tell people a bit about what's going on in your house. Don't tell people the money situation is going on in your house. Keep your business to yourself. You know, because people want to always talk shit. Libra, stop telling people your business. You have to the nine of cups. You're happy. It's like, you know, sometimes when you talk to your girl, you tell that girl, yeah, uh, uh, who? Uh, um, Isaac is good to me. He, he takes care of me. He pays the bills. He got nine inches. He, he just, oh, just turn me on. Stop telling these people your business because they're going to want to get with Isaac, okay, behind your back. But if they find out that Isaac is that good taking care of you and everything, this tramp going to come and try to steal your thunder because you're telling her your business. Stop. The universe says stop telling <laughs> Your best friend, your so-called best friend, I'm going to try to get your man. Because she want to take that leap of faith and taste what Isaac got. Stop, Libra. Hold, hold, your, hold, the, hold the mule. Stop telling people your stuff. 
Stop telling people how good it is, okay? Stop telling people how good your life is because they want it. They want it. They're jealous. It's like, give them a little bit here, give them a little bit there, but you don't have to tell them everything. Yeah, we had a good time last night. Leave it at that, okay? The Four of Swords. You sit on this shit. The universe is saying, don't tell people your stuff, okay? Keep it to yourself. Keep your Work on you. Work on your life. Uh, work on projects at work. Do something to keep you busy. Keep yourself busy. The King of Wands here, okay? The universe wants you to focus more focus more on uh, putting yourself out there, maybe getting a new job, uh, growing on the job you have, growth here. And I see here marriage for you. And if you want to keep a happy home, a happy home, keep your memories to yourself. It's like, tell people you're happy, yeah, you're in a good relationship, yeah. But don't tell people every aspect of your relationship because you got people who ain't in relationships and they get jealous and they want to judge you. You know, the universe is saying, stop. Keep yourself, um, keep your business to yourself. You don't have to show it. You're like, oh, I'm going to say this to so-and-so. I'm going to say this to Andrea. But then you need to think about it. Stop. Think before you leap. Uh, you don't have to tell everybody your business here. You probably already know that you got some jealous people around you. The universe is saying, leave. Stop telling people everything. Find a way out. You know, you have people in your life who really care about you and they really, really support you, Libra. But the universe is saying the more, if you keep telling people your business, they're going to want what you got. They're going to want your thunder. They're going to do everything behind your back to get your woman or to get your man to get a taste of the action that you're telling them you're getting. Stop. Leave it. Let it go. Uh, cut it out. Get over it. We have a temperance. Learn how to have a conversation with somebody uh, that you are really, really close to. Have conversations with this person, yes. And let this person know that you're happy, but you don't have to leave. You don't have to tell this person everything. Because, uh, Libra, if you keep telling your girlfriends of how good he is in the bedroom, this is what's going to happen to you. Because they're going to go after your man. Okay? So, Libra, keep your mouth shut. Don't be... Don't have diarrhea at the mouth and tell everybody your business. Don't tell everybody how happy you are because they're going to want what you got. And they're going to try their damnedest to get it. I have here the hangman. I have the lovers. I have the six of cups. The two of cups. The hangman hung up in your head. You have this lover who you really, really care about. And then we have the six of cups and we have the two of cups. So the universe is telling you, you got a lover too, another lover from your past. Somebody's cheating. Well, not cheating. Or you, you're in a happy relationship right now, Libra. You got somebody coming back from your past who's a soulmate who really loves you and cares about you. You don't know that they're coming back, but they're headed your way. And they want to come in and change your world. And they want to come in and start something new with you and tell you that they love you. A cheating situation. So Libra, you may be having a situation to where you're cheating on your lover or on your soulmate or whatever or a twin flame. And that's not for a lot of people. That's just a small message saying that Libra, you're in a happy relationship now. Stop telling people your business. And on the other end, for some other Libras, you in a happy relationship. You got somebody coming back from your past. But that person is a cheater. So watch out. Okay?